All right, gang, check it out. We waiting on the box to come, right? But this is what we're gonna be working it right here. We got two American based 10 inch XFL 1044s that we're gonna throw up in the, in the truck. Gonna get that thing knocking. I got a third one right there I'm gonna throw in the bins. We're gonna get that thing knocking too. Got the big amp, don't know what I'm gonna do with that thing, but it's gonna get in that truck somewhere. I got my um, one ferret capacitor cap right there. I'm gonna throw that baby in something. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to send this amp off to get repaired or just buy another amp for the bins, but I'm gonna see what's up though. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get this seat lift going on. Hey, check it out, gang. We out here, outside. All right, we're gonna walk out here. We're gonna take a look at the 2500 on the inside with a little light before we do anything, okay? Check it out. All right, so this is the current situation of the past. So as you can see. All right, guys, so as you can see, the tools that we're gonna need is simply a, this is perfect for it because it's open. It accommodates a bolt going through the top. It's gonna be 18 millimeter though. All right, so it makes, a, makes it for a pretty easy job. Go here. I'm gonna get back there in the back. Let's start with that. Bang up there at the top. Get right over there. Like so. As so you see, we have here on the front corner now. No need to remove the side panel or anything. You can easily get the bolt removed just like so. All right, gang, 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 what we got here now? Let's see, one, two, three. All right, so, remember this seat here, and that's a couple bolts, nuts in here, bolts in here that hold the two frames together. We'll have to remove these. That's right, so right here, we got our 10 millimeter. This is 10 millimeter, which holds these two seats together right here. Two seats, 10 millimeter. All right, check it out, gang. We got the bolts out. Like I said, two bolts right down up in there. Use my handy dandy 10 millimeter for those bolts. So for this job, you're only going to need a 10, 10 millimeter and an 18 millimeter socket. All right, it's time to rip this baby up out of here. So check it out. So with everything we've done in preparation, I'm going to lift this out. And this is gonna still be bolted up. Let's get it out. Ah. Just lift it straight up. And get it up out your way. All right guys, as you can see, that was fairly easy. Not hard at all. This install actually go by pretty quick if you're not recording it. So definitely keep that in mind. You could do this in less than an hour, to be honest. Looking at everything I've done so far. But yeah, one, two, this is for your seat belt. You just have two bolts holding the seat in place, two nuts, and you got two bolts right here that support it against the other seat that's still in, this, in, to, in the truck. What I'm gonna do now is get my vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna clean up under here and get this nice and tidy. And as you can see, someone had issues with the squeaking and stuff that you have typically with these trucks, with these seats. Um, mine is missing something that goes here. It slides in between this seat. It's missing that piece. So I'm gonna do pretty much what they did. I'm gonna find something to put in place here. I'm gonna go online and see if I can find that part and get it ordered and get it in here. All right. But it is hot outside, guys. I'm sweating a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and start getting these brackets in place. First of all, I'm going to vacuum it up, put the brackets in place, and we'll be back. Peace. Hey gang, check it out. This was gotta go down right here, okay? Keep this in mind also. Oh, goodness. All right, so. Right here, as you can see, someone made just something to put back here to cut down the noise. But if you got a lot of noise going on in your, in your truck, it's probably because of these right here when you hit a bump. All right, so what I got to do now is I'm about to run up to the dealership right now and I'm about to order three of these. I'm going to give you the part number and everything so I get up there. But check that out. You might want to go ahead and order those pieces that snaps in behind this. It's probably some type of Teflon that cuts down on the noise and everything, makes it smooth. And we're going to get three. Two for this seat on the driver's side. One, two, and you need one for the other side over there. If you're gonna be back here, gonna be doing this, it's a perfect time to go ahead and knock this out while you got it like this, okay? So, let's 
stay tuned. Oh yeah. Ballard Chevrolet, Fayetteville, North Carolina, and I had to land get these parts. I'm actually gonna need three of them though. I thought I needed two, I told the guy two, but I'm gonna get three. All right, hey, thanks, man. How you, how you doing? All right, they quarantined up in here, you see that? Everything, crazy. What's up, man? I called in about those parts. Uh, what one for them? The seat, for the back seat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need three of them, actually. Yeah. All right, what could they help you with? I mean, all right. So as you can see, we got the provisions in place for the coronavirus. It's crazy. All right, go ahead. All right, check it out. We just got this stuff ordered. It actually came up with twenty nine dollars and thirty eight cent for three of them. And it's gonna be here tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this install video, and I pop those babies in tomorrow. All right. Yeah, that's what I do. All right, stay tuned. Oh, beautiful, ain't it beautiful? Yo, what up, gang? I'll say, okay, so now we back. Got the gang with me, as you can see. I can't open it because it's too hard to open this one. Okay, you want me to close it? Okay. All right, so we got that seat out. I paid for the part, receipt, paid in full. Came out to $29.38, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pull this one out over here and we'll go ahead and throw some brackets down here. At least get these brackets mounted up. In the morning, my part should be here. I'm gonna go up there and pick it up and we're gonna finish the install tomorrow. Uh, as you can see, we can't be riding around makeshift with tape and all that on these things, man. We gotta do it the right way. So ain't no cutting corners around here, man. We gotta get it right. right? We gotta get what? What we gotta do, Chance? Um, gotta get it right. Yeah, right. Let's stay up here. So you want to go to the dealership, let them know you need part number 22771139. It's the bumper for the rear seat, rear seat bumper. And all you got to do is pop that baby in place like so. Now if you look at my seats, it's going to look a little different than yours because I just put this seat lift kit on my truck. So it requires me to put some aftermarket bump, bumper some aftermarket metal back here and I guess I'll just call it that so this is just gonna allow me to raise my seats and still give the same support as this but this simply snaps in, this, in place the same way on the factory one just with your factory one is just slide in there and these things right here a rest where you see these bolts at but now it's just simply been relocated here it's gonna snap in place like so Still getting things loose here. As you can see, we got our our jacket still here, but there is no need to remove it. You don't. You may see another video where people remove the jack, but why remove anything that you don't need to move? You feel me? So mine is still in place. Comes out super easy as before.
stand up in it. You know, usually you stand up in something, you're going you're gonna to kill it. Stand up in it real quick like. Let's see what's giving me trouble here. I don't want my ice cream anymore. I don't want my ice cream anymore. It's so disgusting. Alright guys, it was just wedged in there pretty Daddy, good. Daddy, I don't like this anymore. Okay. Here. Don't sit on my floor. In there. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright guys, as you can see, we in here. We trying to get this thing prepped up so that it'll be easy breezy. So let me just show you what I have to do here with these bolts here. Alright, so as you notice got to put the factory bolts in place to hold the brackets in place so what I have to do in return is to have to get this in there also and if you were to tighten this thing all the way down you won't have any room for it to play around so you can get this other bolt in here so it's a good idea to go ahead and get these in place while you have it up well while it's still loose and let's see yeah, while it's still loose. And go ahead and throw the nut on top. So that all this stuff already already be in place so that when I come behind and tighten up these brackets to the truck with my wrench. Because I don't think I'll be able to get this in there at this point anymore. But it's worth a shot to see real quick. And it's still over here where I originally had it at. Let me grab it. Yeah, I won't be able to get that in there. See? If I get it in there, and screw it all the way down, I probably won't be able to, I won't be able to get the nut back out. So I'm going to have to use a regular wrench to tighten all this up. A lot of work guys so i'll just come to you now just to let you see what's necessary to make this more of a breeze okay so yeah that's all to it though got all our brackets in place um in the instructions it said that uh, they'll be turned in different ways but as you can see this is the facade right here on the outer ones so that you will, it'll be a clean look on each corner. And you have to come from this side right here with a probably a um, adjustable neck wrench to tighten that up, and the rest of these tighten them things right on up. All right, so this right here, I got it turned here. I, I got this in the easiest position um, so that I can just get the wrench back there and tighten it up. This right here is the only way I can get it going. As you can see, it had the hole cut out for this screw and the distance between this screw and this bolt is different and no matter which way i turn it it won't fit in the hole but as you see they got a notch cut out right there this notch is for it to be positioned like this so that it can accommodate that screw right there so that was a great idea got that taken care of and as just yes this is where our, these are going to go here and that belt is going to go there and our seat is going to go there. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so we're coming right along, guys. So stay tuned. I'm going to get this on. Um, come back to you in the morning when I get my uh, pieces to go in the back of the seat. We're going to pop that stuff in place. And everything will be ready to get back in here, okay? So stay tuned. Yo, what's up, gang? All right, so we back now. We got the part. Just got back from picking it up. I'm going to show you what it is real quick. All right, so check it out. All right, so these come with a seat, um, seat and lift kit right here. And these are on the factory seat. What you have to do with this is like some type of plastic material. I don't know, it's something that quiets the sound of the, um, the seat so that it's not metal on metal contact against those um, bushings. But yeah, it's just plastic and we're gonna snap this all right first of all 
if you don't plan on raising your seat or anything, you still want to replace these, especially if you got an older model truck. You're hearing noise coming from those back seats. This is probably worn out. All right, so you want to know what that part number is. That's it right there. You see that? What's that, 227? Come on, baby, get together. 22771139. That's the part number. And yeah, simply just got to take this thing here. And it pops up in here like so. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this. We're going to put this in the factory location where this normally goes. We're going to bolt this to the back of the seat. And then we're going to snap this up in there. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Full size truck. You're going to need three of these, by the way. A total of three. Two for the driver's side seat and one for the passenger side seat. Guys, so we are over here at the truck. This is the back of the seat. This is where we're going to install this piece right here. Uh, pretty much all you're going to do, I just pushed it up in there just to make sure it goes smooth. It shouldn't be as hard. My mine got some adhesive back here, as you can see right there which made it a little difficult, but you're gonna to have to kind of bend this back a little bit, but you should be able to just force it up in there and let it flex open just enough. So you can give it such motion like this, like a prying type motion. As soon as you get them first bolt holes aligned, it should be good to go. Like so. Throw our bolts in there, we're good to go. And so, as you can see, we're currently using a angle neck wrench. Due to this crazy angle of this nut in here. As such tool. Hey guys, as you can see, we got the get ready to get these seats in here. I got all of my brackets tightened up, completely tightened up. All right, so next step is to do is to go ahead and back these nuts off of the off of the bolt. Uh, these nuts off of the bolts, and as you can see, our bolts are going to stay in place. They're going to be there to provide support for. The seat to go in, you're not gonna have to worry about them falling out, dropping out, or anything. So that's the reason why it's a good idea. Go ahead and throw these babies in there and get everything tightened up, then loosen them up and throw your seats on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this seat on so that you can see the end result. And I'm gonna wrap it up, guys. So stay tuned. All right, check it out, gang. It's your boy. We back up in here. We got this seat mounted in the truck. I'm just coming to you so you can see <clears throat> how much more space you got there. All right, so pretty good amount of clearance we got there. Let's um get a better view of it from the other side. All right, so that is not bad at all. I mean, as you can tell, it really lifted the seat up. That's how the hardware looks right there with the seats. This here is where our seat belt is going to go. And this here is the three pedestals for the other seat. Actually, two pedestals right here. This one is for the seat belt right here. And remember, the other seat has a bracket that connects here. And uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so that's how that goes right there. One, two, three. Yeah, this bracket right here, these two screws connect to the other seat. And this one here is where we secure other bolts at. So, 
that's how that goes be leaving this seat out for now because i have another project that i'm doing i'm gonna be running some wire i'm gonna um be getting the radio install going on here and i think i'm gonna need this seat to be up out the way so yeah we're gonna go from there and see how that goes all right so as you can see we have a good 10 inches of clearance now right there at the top it's sitting right there at the base right there come on focus you should be able to see it 10 inches anyway it's your boy man your boy Kurt just want to come to you let you see how this thing go as you can see here that thing is right there that's a good two and a half inch actually two and a half inch lift so yeah not bad at all and this is an extra one right here yep two and a half inch lift so that's what you're going to get out of this thing two and a half inches um but yo it's your boy about to be up out of here all right i'm leaving right now but yeah, that's, I appreciate you checking out the video. Okay. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. More videos coming. Um, when I get both seats in, you will see it for sure. But um, that should be enough so you get the idea how to make this thing a pretty easy transition. You can do this pretty quick. I was recording and all that stuff, so it took a while. And plus, I had to wait on the parts. So I put a part number in there. Go ahead and order that little Teflon thing, whatever it is. Back seat bracket, cushion, whatever. Get your stuff right, man. It's your boy C-Spec Curtin. I'm out of here. Peace.